All right. Make this brisk. All right. Just want to get a little brisk look at what the feminine got going on real quick, quick. Give me one second. All right. First card in this message. Seven of Cups. Pimp Cup Chronicles. This deals with like originality, right? Six of Cups is the sauce. That's your steez. That's your essence. That's what makes you you. Uh, everyone is saucy. Everyone is uh, an individual. We all are loved by God equally. We all have a fair shake at life equally. We have minor differences, but we are all the same. No one's better than anyone because no one's better than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one's better than anyone. We're all the same. All right. You can be smarter than another person. You can have more accolades than another person. You can be wealthier than another person. And speak more languages than another person. Like, we have our differences. You know what I'm saying? But we're the fucking same. That's why I gotta love people or I gotta fuck with people because God loves and fuck with people. So I gotta do it, even though I'm antisocial and don't fuck with people at all. But I got to because the Most High does. So I gotta be Most High like. You, you know what I mean? But, you know, even though we're all the same. We're all that. We're all all that. But you got to be all that in the bag of tips. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's going to differentiate you from the next person. That's all the Seven of Cups is. The reason why I call it the Pimp Cup Chronicles is because it's like bringing a Pimp Cup to Pizza Day in elementary school. Everybody's sipping styrofoam cups. Motherfucker wasn't even thinking about bedazzling a motherfucking, you know, chalice that you did the night before on a Thursday. You bring, you know, you, you reach in your backpack, you pull out your Pimp Cup. And everybody's, ooh, <laughs> ah, motherfuckers is mad because they didn't think of it first. Motherfuckers is mad watching you sip a fucking bedazzled pimp cup, which was your fucking idea, while they sipping on plastic. You had a good pizza day. Y'all read y'all little scholastic books and shit. <laughs> Earned another pizza day. Fuck you think gonna happen next pizza day. You know what the fuck's going to happen next pizza day. You're a smart person. You're original. Teacher rolls in the TV. Everybody pulling out fake ass pimp cups. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got one now. You took the one out your backpack and put that bitch back in there. You went and grabbed a motherfucking styrofoam cup. It's just like, man, ain't nobody even like commend you for even sparking the idea of having one. Nah, you know. Motherfuckers, you can't keep nothing original. Not in this world. You know what I'm saying? It's like motherfuckers will take from you and won't even give you respect on where they got the shit from. Like I say, motherfuckers are sick. But they ain't got one. Nigga, they ain't, they ain't even think to have one until you have one for them to have one. It's like children. I'm going to say that. I'm going to leave it alone. What I know is about kids, they only want children. Like, babies. They only want shit other people playing with. I work in a fucking daycare. <laughs> And uh, with my mom, I co-founded a couple years ago. Uh, shout out to the Muscle Seat. It'd be days I'd be in the center with the kids. It'd be just like a group of them from the same household. Like, usually it's a lot of kids in there. But on this particular day, I'll just use an example. It was just the, this household of kids who we fuck with. It's a lot of them too. You know, I'll bring them to the center and it's like, yo, go play <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers be fine, you know, cussing at them and shit. Y'all motherfuckers be fighting over toys all day. Like, you know how many times I gotta break y'all up from not sharing toys and shit? Because there's other kids in here, I understand. They be deep in this bitch. It's just y'all. All these toys in here. Y'all wanna play now? What, what's up with that? <laughs> like, why y'all wanna play? Oh, it's because ain't nobody playing with it. Hmm. Then they fighting over toys. Why y'all fighting? It's just y'all in here. Y'all can have all the toys in the motherfucking room. Palace up in here. It's Toy City in here. Like, for real? Weird. You know what I mean? Shit is only hot because people fuck with it. Like, if I had way more views and way more subscribers, I'd be probably number one in the Twin Flame community by now. <laughs> um, I watch my numbers drop frequent. Like, I see my shit literally go from like 800 to like 137 one time. That's usually like my average, 120, 137 and shit. 
I be, I be getting locked out my channel a lot too. Like, where is shit be happening with my shit? But I mean, I'll just be wondering who really watching. Like, it ain't the public. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'm just psychic's favorite psychic because I think only psychics can watch me. I'm like blocked in a place where only psychics can tap into and they take my shit. Because I see my shit everywhere. I've been saying that shit for 11, like, how long am I doing this shit? Six going on seven years. I said that shit in year one. My shit is embedded in this community. My fucking don't even give me my problem. I am the originator for a lot of shit. I'm a little Richard, for real. But a lot of this recent twin flame lingo. You know what I'm saying? What nobody approaching the shit like me? What nobody even mentally coming at it logically the way I was? It was all namaste and oracle cards and tarot cards and, and shit like that. It wasn't playing cards and ascension and Trinidad's teachings and you know what I mean? Rules and laws to the shit. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Off my dick. Let me get back to the message. But yeah, be original, man. Because if you're original, like I say, people can take and gank my shit all day. And I hear them and see them with my shit, but it ain't got that same effect. You don't, you don't hit that. It hit different. <laughs> that shit hit different. But that's like any, like, what do you call it? Uh, Off brand sauce. Be original, so when even people bite your shit, that shit off brand, and that's the truth. Bottom line, when I'm feminine, we got seven to four. Is you keeping it 100 with yourself? Is somebody keeping it 100 with you, or are you keeping it 100 with another person? This is darkness coming to the light. That means things being illuminated. This is also masks wearing masks, spreading yourself so thin you ain't got enough you for you. Because you this person to this person, or you this person at this place. It's like who you are at work ain't who you are with your family, ain't who you are at church, ain't who you are at, at the job, ain't who you are with your kids. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you seven different people. You wear seven different hats. It's like showing up to a job with another uniform from other job at this present job. You fucked up. You look at your shit like, damn, wrong job. That's the synergy. Truth is. I say a lot of you divine feminists are saucy as fuck, man. Y'all are originators, man. Y'all could be doing so much better on your own than latching on to people or fake fucking with people or doing whatever people do. Like I say, the average person fucks with people they don't even like. Networking and shit in the name of networking and groupies. I call them groupies, bro. Pray every day. Lord, don't make me no groupie. I wish I would be just taking pictures with everybody my whole life. Insecurity show up in a lot of ways. You know them profiles of people who never have a picture by themselves? And it ain't even a body picture. It's strictly from the neck up. <laughs> and they got all these pictures of other people, but none of themselves. That says a lot. Like, I'm antisocial. I don't fuck with people. I don't network with people. Fuck people. Like, I don't... Mm -hmm. Like, I don't even talk. I swear to God, this is the most talking I do a day. If you talk to me, like if you're hearing words come out of my mouth, if you got the blessing to, to, to talk to me, you know what I'm saying, then it's going to be building. Don't talk to anybody. Because a lot of people talk about nothing. I'm not going to talk about nothing with, with a nobody. All the time I go to work, it's just drama. He said, she said, who doing this, who doing that, who ain't on this, who ain't on that, who fucking who, who fucking. I curved that shit. Fuck out, you just ain't going to speak. No response. Facial expressions. Like, come on, man. Y'all know me. Unless you're trying to book a reading or something, peace the fuck out. I gave y'all information. I told y'all who I was during the initial conversation. I'm a psychic here. Take my information down if you need some, you know, room then come holler at me. Other than that, take that shit and keep that shit over there. I'm not here to pick up no bitch. Not at, at the gig. Especially not the factory. I work factory. Fuck out of here. Nah, I don't want none of y'all up in here. I think I'm better than nobody, because ain't nobody better than nobody, but seven of pentacles, nigga. <laughs> I'm just different. I'm not geeking over a thought. I'm not trying to fuck a bitch that everybody fucked on and waiting for my turn anxiously, like most regular niggas out here. Like, that don't, nah, I don't get off on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking, getting to know you, getting to know I ain't trying to get to know nobody. Dig what I'm saying? It's a different world. Fuck people. People are desperate. People will sell you out for six figures, man, real quick. I'm talking about sell you in a 
sex trades, still you want to body organ trade, nigga. Like, this is a dark web, nigga. It's a different world. A lot of people are fakers, fronters, liars. They ain't who the fuck they say they are. They don't even know who they are. A lot of people are living lies and maintaining that shit. That's what social media has done. It's really given birth to fakery on a level I've never seen before. I've watched people desperately do people dirty just to maintain their shit. Fuck a friend. Fuck family sometimes, man, because like I say, bro, different world. I'm telling you, a lot of people who you think you know, they ain't even the same person no more. Different world. Be careful. All you friendly motherfuckers out here, be careful. How you think people get set up, taken, snatched up, killed? Even like domestics. It's the new world. Leave domestics alone. You will get fucked up before one of them people in the domestic, dude. Hey, not sounding negative. I'm just saying, it's not my stay shit really spoils y'all. It ain't not my stay all day. Whatever the fuck the environment was before I press record to do this shit is what the fuck you gonna see. We ain't gotta jazz it up for nobody. It's a message. Motherfucker's supposed to be delivering that you're supposed to be receiving. Shouldn't be nothing more than that. Coloring books and books with no pictures. <clears throat> People gonna pick the coloring book every time. 3D coloring book. The scratch and sniff book. <laughs> you mean? That's what people want. The audio book. Fuck the book. I'll watch the movie. That's where we at. Okay? It's a new time. You motherfuckers looking for old world shit in a new world. Motherfuckers looking for old world friends in a new world. Old world commitment in a new world, cuz everything has changed. You can look at the trees and see that. Look at the sky and see that. You look at the news and see that. Say I don't want that shit to say this. Hey, truth is, you gotta illuminate yourself to, to what's going on, alright? Because you not having truth will hurt you severely. It's a truth to this world. Get hip on it. It's the truth to the people that run this bitch. Get hip on it. The truth is, there is an end game. There is an agenda. <laughs> Get to know all them shits. You know what I'm saying? Really get to know what's important. That's ascension. That's all you should really care about. Where the fuck Mars or Chiron, Charon or a fucking asteroid or a planet? Since it's flat Earth theory and we're the only motherfuckers here, why fuck? Why motherfuckers even talk about planets? Fuck, why are you even talking about solar systems and shit if this is a flat Earth? If this is all it is, you dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Last shit I'm gonna say and I'm gonna move on. It's to kill these flat earth theory motherfuckers. Listen, man, the earth is not the only thing, and that's not all it is, bro. I told you, it's a trillion and a half of the planets out here. Shit, nigga, Jerusalem. Old Jerusalem. We ain't talking about the new Jerusalem that's finna come. We talking about the Jerusalem that's been there <laughs> since earth been around, son. Like, it's an actual beautiful place. That's a headquarters for one of these systems we live in. I think ours... We're in the Satania system. Like our planetary system is called Satania. Satan is the ruler of this shit. We are in the void. The dark void that God isn't present and shit. Like that's that's where we stay. That's where Earth is located in like his territory. You know the one third that fell to the earth, the darkness and shit, that's where we stay at. It's planets that's in the light. That's untouched by the darkness, by the dragon, by Satan. Lucifer and devil. Three different people from three different places with three different agendas. Motherfucking truth. You need to get to learn that shit. Hell don't exist. I will argue that's truth. You need to figure that shit out. Like, heaven is a real location. And that's where you want to go. But we're going to go to hella places before we get there because that's the end game. Know who you are. I told you. <clears throat> know what this Twin Flame situation is. Like, know what the divine feminine is. Know the role. Know how this Twin Flame thing works. Like, I would spend more time trying to figure out the wine masculine, okay, or trying to figure out this twin flame shit, right, than try to figure out, I don't know, astronomy. Shit that don't even matter. Like, it don't matter. It don't matter. Like, <laughs> what's important to you? That's why motherfuckers can't keep their eyes on the prize, but just the four wands, twin flame, union, union, recognition, because y'all motherfuckers so focused on everything else. The biggest fucking shit I go through with just being a Twin flame guru on a psychic and shit, fucking with y'all clients and shit, bro. Y'all so worried about everything else. 
hey, we're doing life coaching. What you want to do, personal stuff, or you want to just talk about your mask and all day? Let me see what the mask we got going on. Casual, too. Like, you just don't care. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Let's get it. Let's see what you got going on. Let's let's see what options you got going on. Let's let's see what you got. I'm sure you got some shit going on that we can get cracking right now. But nah, my boys want to focus on the Divine Master. And aside from the Divine Master, <clears throat> they watching the other readers doing other shit. Talking about the stars and the alignments and gateways and all that. Come on. What? You just need to know what day to do your rituals? Nigga, you can look on Google. You can Google that. <laughs> you have to watch people to know that, like, but that's more interesting than what really matters. Your path, your purpose, divine love. The fourth and fifth dimension, nigga, divinity. God. That's what matters. Not what age we in or what retrograde we in or what gateway finna open or what moon it is next week or what the fuck is gonna happen when this Venus aligns and conjoins with Jupiter, like nigga. This two flame shit is hard enough for y'all to figure out, but why do y'all submerge yourself, distracted by other shit? Is my point. Like I said, you gotta be passionate about shit to even put attention to it. So you mean tell me you're more passionate about the heavens? It ain't even the fourth or fifth dimension. You talking about the heavens? <clears throat> you're more interested in the heavens than what the fuck you got personally going on on Earth, your purpose on Earth, your duty on Earth, your divine counterpart's duty on Earth. Like, that that shit is more important than what's going on here. Sound like a distraction to me. At any rate, come to the situation, we get the Knight of Cups. This is juvenile emotion. Lust, not love. <laughs> juvenile emotion. It's like coming at something immature. I'm just keep it real, this whole message, and keep it very brisk. I gotta go. Like I said, you can spend this twin flame situation really unlocking your old true potential, changing yourself to a whole nother person, really getting to know your divine counterpart, really changing their life the way you change in your life. Get the most out of this shit. It'd be juvenile for, like I said, you just had a sexual relationship with your twin and that's it. All y'all got is physical. You still don't know who he is. He still don't know who you are. You still ain't changed yourself. He still hasn't changed himself. You still ain't dropped a bomb on him or at least opened up the can of this twin flame thing to him. You know what I'm saying? He leaves you fall to pieces. You get insecure. He separates himself. You don't change. He comes back and it's the same shit. You can't get through to him. You, you, you know what I mean? But there's only one thing y'all share. There's only one thing y'all got in common and you capitalize on that. You're scared to lose that. So you don't do nothing else. Like I said, I see how y'all coming at it. Like I say, y'all females, females are way different. I am a divine feminine, but I'm a man at the end of the day, so I'm saying like I'm not as emotional as y'all. And uh I don't be too in my head about certain shit y'all do. Women, females, feminine. But just know this. <clears throat> you gotta grow up. Get to a point where you gotta grow up. Or you gotta take the lead. Or you have to, like I say, put your foot down. Draw them boundaries. Take that risk. Kids don't. Kids take risks because they know there's no consequences. But when an adult takes a risk, it's 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 really all or nothing. A lot of people don't take risks, man. A lot of people don't even want to get to know themselves. Like a lot of people need people to be themselves or scared to be alone and all that shit. You know, you can't be that. Being a divine. It's directly. Subconsciously, indirectly, you got the five cups. This is loneliness, emotional isolation, um, or being in a class by yourself, which is like I say, the life of a divine. You're in a class by yourself. You're a nine year old high school student. Okay, you're a fucking prodigy. Unfortunately, you in high school can't kick it with everybody else because they ain't on your level. You're in a class by yourself because ain't nobody else on your level. Of course, it's lonely. Of course, you're bored. Of course you wish you could be different. What is the twin flame situation? That's another kid coming in class with you. Wow, I thought I was the only person here. We're both smart. We're both prodigies. We're both in the same fucking situation. I definitely understand you because you understand me because we in the same boat. We're in the same class. And it's just us. I thought nobody would understand me. I thought I wasn't, you know, I thought I was going to go through this whole last senior year alone. But I got a classmate. And you two become the best of friends. 
But guess what? You wouldn't have met your twin if you wasn't in this class by yourself. You wouldn't have met your twin if you wasn't by yourself. Or at least emotionally isolated or in a position that you were in to receive your twin. And vice versa. I'm going to say it all the time. Yeah, this was, if I was younger and it was a different time and I had more shit going on, I probably wouldn't even be your friend. I probably wouldn't even talk to you and shit. I'm just like, I know. You 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 you, you, you fake fuck with me now. Like, you do that shit now. So I already, I know. I mean, that would happen with me, though. You know, that's what we defer. <laughs> I'll fuck with you anytime, anywhere, whatever. It don't even matter what circumstance it is. Cause that's, how, that, that's how I fuck with you. Unconditional. Masons are very conditional, but masons are very logical. You know, so, like I said, I think out every day my master was in his isolated position, and I was in my isolated position. We both were in a very isolated position. Both were in very lonely places in our lives, and that's how we even had the time, energy, and resources to link up the way we did, as most twins. Feminine, you particularly with yourself, you got the Knight of Swords. This is fear. Making decisions without crossing your T's or dotting your I's. Fear, this is natural energy, just don't stay in it. This is being mentally discombobulated from a Ten of Swords, which is death or a permanent ending. Now, fear. You shouldn't fear nothing but God or your or your or your own self. You know, you shouldn't be scared of nobody. You can do more harm to yourself than anyone can do to you. Big facts. You can do more harm to yourself than anyone can do to you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Fear. Why is this fear out there? King of Pentacles. This is manif master manifesto or a CEO card. Or owning up to something. It really deals with ownership. You know, a specific fear you got going on mentally because it's a sword that you need to own up to. You know, you own up to your fears and you face your fears head on because if you don't face your fears head on, then your worst fear will become your reality. Pay attention to what the fuck I just said. Face your fears. Because if you don't face your fears, then your worst fear will become your reality. I speak from experience. What you think about, bring about. King of Pentacles is a master manifester, a person that can manifest whatever the fuck they want. Manifestation. Thoughts become things. So if you think of negative thoughts, you're going to manifest some negative shit. If you think of positive thoughts, you're going to manifest some positive shit. But it's a head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Just because you think good don't mean everything going to be good. Because you still got your feelings and emotions because your heart and mind got to be aligned. You got to be passionate about whatever the fuck direction you're going. And then you got to do something about it. That doing shit is going to manifest shit. You know what I'm saying? So no. Pure thoughts, pure not my state, pure making a conscious direction to just be positive all the fucking day. Okay, that sounds good, right? But it's your actions and behavior. You might think positive, but you might do some badass actions and behavior to manifest the shit you're trying to manifest. Like, it ain't all good. Bad is here too, man. It's a balance. That's what kills me with this whole spiritual community, man, because if you press play on 80% of these videos, everybody in a good mood. Everybody's not my state. Everybody's fucking perfect. There's no flaws. There's no blemishes. Everything's set up perfectly and all that goofy ass shit. Like, like motherfuckers spent more time setting up than getting busy. <laughs> like I said, what you see is what you get. I was just casually chilling here like, fuck, let me do some videos real quick. Boom, press record. I'm here. You ain't have to spice nothing up. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's all about presentation. That shit is more important than the message. Distractions to keep you ADD, ADHD, grown ass adults entertained. Motherfuckers is going out route and really feeding the soul on what needs to be fed. It's like church. It ain't about saving souls no more. It's more about money. It's a business than it is a fellowship. But that's the new world. Like I say, you can't bring old world views to this new world. You can't be seeking old world shit in this new world. It's a new world. So, you know, it's a particular thing you're scared to manifest. But then, like you're scared to manifest it, you're just scared to fail. You're scared it ain't gonna work out. You're scared you're gonna fall on your face. You're scared that you're gonna not succeed. Fuck that shit. You are the greatest. Okay? Go out here and make history, nigga. Like, go out here and really make today the best day it can fucking be because you're in a position to do that. Subconsciously and directly, when it comes to that, we was just talking about, we got the Knight of Wands. Another knight. 
This is moving fast and fiercely towards your divine direction, i.e. being in the place to be. Where you at right now at this present fucking moment and everything you got going on and everything you got going on is exactly what the fuck it's supposed to. You are exactly where you need to be in life right now. Ain't no mistake. God ain't making no mistake. <laughs> shit, that's where you at right now is where the fuck you were supposed to be. Trust and believe that shit. You didn't fuck up nothing. You didn't mess up nothing. You didn't miss nothing. You are in a place to be. Embrace that. Because you got another night. And all the nights is out here. So all juvenile energy is gone. Told you. It's time to mature. It's time to grow up from this point. Still with the mask directly. We got going. <clears throat> A lot of how you deal with your divine masculine is how you is how you were groomed to deal with masculine. That shit has to change. Shit you was talking, I'm telling you, that's old world shit. These is new niggas, niggas is bitches now, and bitches is niggas like a motherfucker. Like, <laughs> must be something in the water. It's different. It's like when I went to Utah. You know what I'm saying? Average chick got two, three kids, right? One, two divorces, 26 years old. Bad as hell, young as a motherfucker, but already done been through like, like I say, two marriages with a few kids and shit. That shit, I'm looking good and everything. I'll be like, damn. So when did you get married? <laughs> 14, 15, 16, shit, you know what I'm saying? But like, they were made to serve their mate. Like, literally serve their mate. Like, these Mormons are small. Like, they different. They hit different. And, uh, I was just tripping, like, man, it's a good thing you out here in Utah. If you took your nice ass to Chicago, motherfuckers be using and abusing your ass, like, for real, for real, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, so I told you, like, fuck being friendly, fuck being nice, fuck trying to aim to please. You gotta start focusing on yourself. Hey, you can't lose doing what's best for you. If that means you got to hurt a couple feelings, tell a couple people no, like, hey, grow up. That old shit didn't work. You literally did everything for people and got nothing in return, okay? Try a new tactic. Start focusing on you. The way you, the way you were groomed by masculine is, is how you still continuing to move today, all right? Reformulate. Reformulate. Can't do the same thing you've been doing with men. Or masculine. You can be a she, she be he, you know, right. It's time to grow up. Take that how you want to move applicably because subconsciously and directly, you got the two of pentacles. This is you and what you bring to the table. Or this is a masculine and what he's bringing to the table. He's got to have something to bring to the table. Truth, bottom line, shit gonna sting, but if you ask me all the time, why you ain't married, why you ain't got kids and shit. Saying it's, it's a new world. <clears throat> and like I say, I did with kids a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's my second ministry. And um well, these kids, these new kids, maybe not even want to have kids the whole time. These new baby mamas, bro, maybe not even want to have kids with ticks like these. Like it's even in the world we in right now, we ain't have shorts. Like it's just I'm different. I told you, I'm a modern day month, man. My life is built on server two and I'm fine. I'm cool with that. I can be alone, I'm cool with that. I join my own company. I'm straight with that. Like, I'm not thirsty for another person for shit. Like, I'm cool. I mean, it gets a little lonely, but that's the life of the divine. You know what I'm saying? But I can perfectly accept that. Um, chicks want new shit. You see it online? You see these TikToks and these shorts and shit? The new woman? The new kid? The new world? Cause, like, I'm cool. I mean, I got something to bring to the table regardless. Whoever catch me is going to get a good catch. Like, I'm a good motherfucking guy. That's if I choose to settle down. But like I say, right now, I rather spend my time helping folks because a lot of people need help on finding who they are. A lot of people need help in their relationships. A lot of people need help with their businesses. Like, a lot of people need shit. And I'd rather be the person that, you know, spend my time, energy, and resources to be of service than to be gotten like everybody else out here, stuck in a bad relationship, trapped, controlled by a baby mama or two. Stuck. Think about me, I'm free. Free bird. And I'm a black, young, go say, educated black man too, man. So like I say, it ain't too many people in my position. So being in this position, I gotta take advantage of full full force. It ain't about me. It's about the kingdom. That's all I care about. I told you. 
watch your actions and behavior. I go, fuck what you got. What you have don't impress me. I can't be bought. I can't be duped, bamboozled. None of that shit. <laughs> so happens when you are a solitary pillar of divinity. I know what world we live in. I can't get duped by shit. I, 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 I went 35 years with no record, no crazy ass baby mama, no fucked up kids out of wedlock. Like, like I've been doing shit the right way. You know? Shit the right way. A lot of people chose to do shit the wrong way. Ignorance is bliss. Life is good for people who really don't know shit, who really ain't hip, who really ain't on. Better to fake the funk than really be a part of it, and there's a lot of fakers out here. I can go all day. But hey, bring, have something to bring to the table. And if you know you got something to bring to the table, then you ain't going to sell for shit. And if a motherfucker coming to you with nothing, you can't do no thing, no thing with them. Future, directly, eight of wands. It's communication, 80% nonverbal. Like I say, actions and behavior. That's 80% of it. Watch that. Let that speak. What people say is just 20% of it. And what the motherfucker saying and what the motherfucker be doing got to correlate. Got to be the same shit or they ain't talking at all. Nonverbal communication. Keep your ears open for nonverbal communication. Which ain't ears. You're using your eyes. You're using your intuition. You know what I mean? Fuck vibes. Those are just feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are just indicators of when you're going mentally. How do a person get in your mind? How do a person manipulate the shit out of you? How do a person even get in your psyche through your heart? Through your feelings and shit? Like I say, watch out for all this not my state shit, nigga, because it seems safe coming in till they get you. I watch the people y'all watch, bruh. And these are real life demons. These are real life fucking <laughs> reptilians and fucking beings. They, they think of these other world outly beings leading y'all motherfuckers. It's crazy. Y'all don't even see the demon in these motherfuckers. The fallen angel that, 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 that possesses these motherfuckers. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like I say, y'all be so focused on all this extra shit. Y'all be missing out on what the fuck's right in front of you. Bottom line, truth. Truth is, a lot of you divine feminists are being deceived by false prophets. Because they seem legit enough. But they're all algorithms. You only fuck with alg good algorithms. Because you only fuck with people that's supposed to be credible. But what's credible is the internet now. It always can be communication or information. If you can't corroborate information in this new world, you're bound to drizzle down. Okay? Corroborate information. You read on something, it's like you hear about some shit. I right, let me corroborate this information. Find this shit in three sources. Ah, reading. Fuck internet links, nigga. You better take your ass to <laughs> the remaining bookstores that there is, nigga. Start reading. Reading. It come at this shit logical. It ain't a feeling. It's not a feeling. I know people who go to church all day for the feeling. Still don't know God. Still don't know any path and purpose. Still don't know shit. But just caught up in the rapture of joy. It's a trap. Don't get trapped out here. Final card in this message, we got the devil card. Subconscious and directly. Devil card is uh, doing things in excess, overindulging, being chained to someone or something. Could be an ideology, could be a religion, could be a state of mind. You know what I mean? You chained to something or something chained to you, whether you see it or not. Codependency, whether you're the codependent one or you're enabling a codependent one, whether you see that or not. This is regressive behavior, going backwards, doing shit you say you want to do no more. Or the only plus side to this is like Sandy and Grease at the end of the movie. You know, you reinvent yourself. You become a phoenix. You know what I'm saying? Like me. Devil card. A Christian cycle. I fuck with God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The devil is for and say, you know, three different people from three different places with three different agendas who have no power, authority, or dominion over you. God came to affect your free will. So who the fuck else doing that? I told you, you your worst enemy. Ain't no spirit, ain't no entity, ain't no deity that's fucking with you. You got the power, you understand what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I know this. That doesn't exist. I know this. It's all about path and purpose and divinity and unconditional love and divine love even. I know this. I'm supposed to live a life of servitude. I'm on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know this shit. I'm doing God's business all day, every day. But yet, I come from a Christian household. I'm the devil to my family. I worship the devil. I cut up chickens and shit. I'm using tarot cards when clearly I got playing cards, motherfuckers. Like, come on, man. Like, I'm everything I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Because of the energy that's put on me. I don't give a fuck. Call me the devil. Say what I'm doing is going to send me to hell. Well, that don't even exist. 
Yeah, yeah, you can paint this label all over me, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. It doesn't even affect me. <laughs> Energy, swag, you need feminine. Take that with you. I'm Audi 5000.